So Scott and I were just at Google I.O., which is Google's yearly developer conference. And this year, a bunch of new products were announced to help companies deploy AI at scale. So Scott, this is what you do all day. You talk to companies, helping them get value from AI. So I was wondering what sort of challenges you find that they run into. Well, Dale, actually, it feels like we're working all day and all night you know, with our customers. But um, I am seeing three things emerge, Dale, uh, in the field. Uh, the first one, the CEO who's on top of this, what she's thinking about is asking her business unit leaders, what's your data strategy? And are you having teams label the data to get ready for AI? The second issue she's thinking about is once they have a model in your enterprise, how do you actually get that into production out of the scientist's notebook? And the third thing they're thinking is, once I have a model out there, is it still serving my customers correctly? So issues about ethics and explainability and bias all creep up and they want to think about that too. So that's what I see in the wild today, Dale. I basically hear exactly the same thing from developers. Hmm. We're always sort of thinking about the data scientists building the model, but what it really boils down to is there are all sorts of other things they need to consider when you're deploying ML, like um, making sure that you have uh, monitoring and your model's not biased. Mm -hmm. um, but what was really neat was that this year at Google I.O. we announced Vertex AI, which is Google's opinionated way of doing ML ops at scale. Yeah, and what I love about opinions, Dale, is a lot like Marie Kondo in my closet. It just makes things a lot easier, you know? Yeah, so she's like, this is how you fold your socks, and Google is like, this is how you store your data. Yeah, exactly. And so like Google with data, they're like, calm down. Here's what you do. You take your data and you put it to a data set. And once it's in a data set, you have labeling teams that produce things called features. And features are the things you want to feed into your AI. Nice and clean, nice and simple. And Google has similar opinions for how do you then take a model and move that into production. And then and the, another thing about once you have a model, how can you ensure that it's not biased? And how do you explain what it's doing? So it's sort of an opinion across the board. I don't know, Dale, have you had a chance to play with these yet? Yeah, I have had a chance to try out Vertex AI. And it's pretty neat to be able to build a model and then you get all these other features built into the platform for free. Uh, if you're watching this and you want to check out Vertex, make sure you take a look at the links. And uh, thanks for chatting, Scott. Likewise, Dale. See you soon. See ya.